Jeff again. Um, and as you can see, this is regarding my coming out story. So, first thing I want to cover is when did I come out? Well, let's see, well, when did I know I was gay? Well, personally, I knew it all my life, I think. Um, I knew what I wanted and um, you know, I always liked boys, guys. Uh, I had my first crush when I was in fifth grade. Um, had a crush on a boy, and I didn't really know everything that I wanted to do, but I knew that's who I was very happy hanging out with. And um, it wasn't like I didn't like girls because uh, my best friend growing up was a girl. I grew up with her. From the time we were born, we knew each other, we got along together great, we loved each other. Um, but when I was, uh, yeah, I'd say when I was uh, in fifth grade is when I actually knew what I was looking for. Um, in our house, uh, gay was never really mentioned. I don't recall it ever being mentioned. It was, um, it was, you know, sex was all around the house in that sense that I guess you could say um, I knew all about it. My father had all the porn laying around in the bathrooms and he had a whole closet full of them. Um, and any one of us kids could look at the porn. His attitude was um, let them look and if they're not interested, they're not going to look. If they are interested, well, great. Maybe they'll ask mom and dad the questions about the birds and the bees uh, <laughs> it was a uh, it was definitely a open family in in the discussion wise of uh, sex but gay never came out so I never knew how they actually felt about it and but I knew I was I knew I was gay um, I had my first, like I said I had my first crush when I was uh, in fifth grade um, ironically, of course, nothing happened then, but ironically, uh, I just met the guy again on Facebook a couple of years ago, and come to find out he's gay. Uh, <laughs> I guess I, I knew it then. Um, he didn't. He ended up getting married. He had a, had a little family and then got divorced, and now he lives with his boyfriend in New York. Uh, pretty cool. Um, my second crush was on my own cousin and well that's taboo so of course you're not going to do anything with your cousin but ironically there was another one uh, he got married he had a family and um, 20 years later he came out and he's got a boyfriend he's very happy with his uh, significant other uh, his partner definitely it, they, they, they get along great um, but for me I I basically stayed in, I, I, I was in the closet up until my uh, 20s. Um, in actuality, I was insistent that I was going to be straight. I was not going to be not normal. Whatever normal should have been, that's what I was going to be. Um, at the age of 23, I acted, that was my first girlfriend and uh, we got engaged we were ready to, we were going to be married when she finished school and she had one year left in school and uh, while she was away at school I got a roommate and me and the roommate ended up um, becoming well I guess you could say boyfriends uh, it was, it, it, it was who I thought I was going to live my life with. Um, so finally, one day, I didn't want to hide it anymore. And I wrote a letter to her. Never write a letter. I feel bad. Um, I wrote her a letter and told her I was gay and that my roommate was my boyfriend 
and I was sorry. She was the first one I came up to. It was the first time I had wrote the words that I was gay. And she mailed me back, uh, basically telling me I was a fucking asshole and that I was going to burn in hell. It, it definitely didn't make me feel good. And um, I held it. I didn't let, let my roommate know. And he found the letter about a month after it came in. And he blew up. He was pissed because he couldn't accept he was gay. And he told me that I was wrong for doing what I did. That he was happy with how everything was going as long as there was this fake facade. Uh, he really, it, it blew my mind and we broke up immediately. He left. Um, I went into a state of depression. Uh, matter of fact, I, I did at that time want to kill myself. Definitely not one of my happier moments in life. And I wrote a letter to my parents and I wrote a letter to my sister because they were up in Massachusetts. I moved away from home when I was 19. I moved to Florida. Um, and after I wrote them the letters, I called my brother, my older brother, and talked to him because I was just that bad off. And he insisted to fly me home that next day, and that's what he did. He flew me home. And I told him, I said, I don't want to see anybody. And well, writing the letters were the wrong thing to do because um, I found out how much my parents loved me and how much my sister loved me. Uh, my father immediately came over to my brother's house when, he, when they got the letters. And... I was hiding in a room and my father's insisting to my brother, he needs to help us fly me home. And um, my brother argued back and forth with my father, he's gonna, Jeff's going to be fine, don't worry about Jeff. It's not, gonna, it's not what, as bad as you think. And my father's throwing the letters out saying, look at these fucking letters, he's in trouble, we need him home. Um, so I came out of the bedroom to because I could see that it was not going to get any better at that point. Um, and I went home with my father. And I didn't talk about what the problem was. I had told my brother, let me back up, I, did tell, I told my brother what was going on. And my brother, my brother he he was like whatever you whatever you choose that's fine. He says, but maybe you need to go out to the bars with the guys a little more, and you know you know they'll hook you up with some girls. He he just my brother accepted me, but he he, he never could understand what gay was. Um, it wasn't until later in life that he actually had to address it with his own stepson or it's. I adopted son, um, and that's when he came, finally talked to me for the first time. I, it, I was, I, I had, it was now maybe 15 years later, and he was finally talking to me about what to do with uh, somebody that's gay, because it was so, he did not, he did not acknowledge me as being gay. Um, he, he acknowledged it, but he didn't, he accepted it. And I, I appreciate him for accepting it. Um, I went over to my parents' house and for a couple of days didn't say nothing about it. I didn't tell him what was wrong. And finally I took my father into the room. I took every, I took my father, my mother, my sister. I took them all in one at a time. I talked to everybody personally, separately. I told my father, my father, the first words out of his mouth is, and what's your problem? I'm like, well, I'm gay. And he said, I don't understand your problem. He said, do you know your uncle is gay? 
and this is a great uncle. It, it, we're going, the, the guy came up back in the early 50s. I was like, no, I, don't, I didn't know he was gay because you guys never told me this. He said, yeah, he's gay and the whole family accepts it. Don't worry about it. You know, whatever makes you happy. It, it was a big weight off my shoulders to hear that. Um, I told my mother uh, she was accepted, but my mother, she, never, she, she accepted it, but, and she would never down me. She loves me to death, and I love her. Um, to this day, we can't discuss it. We, it isn't something that we discuss. It's, it's a lot, you know, whatever makes me happy, fine, but, you know, that's my thing. And she just don't prefer knowing about it. So, she doesn't know about it. She knows about it, but she just doesn't think about it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, my father, on the other hand, throughout my life, he, up until the day he passed away, which was ten years ago now, he, uh, he, would, he would call me two, three times a week. And I can be guaranteed in that conversations that at least once he'd be asking me if I had a boyfriend, if I had found anybody, uh, who was I seeing. He, he wanted to know what, what was going on in my life. Um, really made me feel good. Um, try not to cry here. Um, my sister, my sister, she accepted me with open arms. Um, She'll at she, she's another one that she's always wanting to know what's going on in my life. She wants to know if I don't mention anybody for a certain amount of time. She's like, so what's going on? Have you found somebody? You need to find somebody. Um, you know when I I had a I've had a life with a lot of roommates, and that's what they were. They were roommates. Uh, that's really something for another time uh, so that I don't stretch into this too long because uh, the whole roommate situation, that's a whole new deal. Uh, I don't even want to talk about the straight guy. The, the, there's too many of them out there like that. <laughs> you know, either way, I, I came out to the family. Uh, my youngest brother I didn't come out to. He was only 11 at the time. He just, I think mom and dad told him, and he accepted it, and he loves me, and he's, he is probably the one, he's one of the ones I can talk to, probably the most open, I can talk to his wife the most open uh, about anything that's going on. Um, he doesn't consider me anything bad, he, he don't consider nothing, he's never even, he never even, says the word gay, it's just like, so, have you found a, you going out with any guys lately or anything, and that's how he is, it's just so good, I, I never had to explain myself to him, he just grew up knowing I was gay, and he, he had no issues with it, um, he's a, even actually used my name, um, for one of his sons, because he said to me, he says, you're never going to have a child that you can name your own, so we're naming their, sec their second son they named uh, Dylan Jeffrey, which I thought was awesome. Um, after I came out to everybody, it was a big relief in a sense, but I had I was I went down down in Florida. I was hanging around a rough crowd. Um, I could not come out to them. They did find out. They came over to the house, a whole gang of them, and to just visit. And I was with a guy, and they saw through the window, and we talked for about five minutes, and that was the last time I ever seen any of them. They all just left and would not come back. I never heard from them again. Uh, that just goes to show where your friends are at. And from that point, I I was 
I was working in the area that was comfortable. It was restaurants. Uh, it just seemed right. And then when I turned 26, I was unemployed and I got a job being an electrician. And when I got onto the construction sites, it was a whole new story. Because when you got get onto into a construction site, when you're working that type of work, especially when I first started, it's it just wasn't the thing to come out and say you're gay. I I I watched a, a gay person get totally. It was it was terrible what I watched happen, and I didn't do nothing. I wasn't proud of it. But in the same respect, I needed my job, and I was on a big job, and a bunch of men harassed him. Um, made him quit that day. He was on the job for one day. He came on the job with the gay flag on his shirt with the words, I am gay. It wasn't the thing for him to do. This was 1987. Yeah, people were coming out, but and people, it, it, it's I don't know. It, it, you know, times have got better, but they haven't. So I can't say it's all great, but I do feel it's better than it was. Some um, definitely better from the 70s and 80s that I was growing up as. Uh, um, my teens, my twenties. Uh, it it was terrible. He quit. They did not. Uh, they did not beat him up. They just verbally abused him to the point that he couldn't take it anymore. And I felt really bad. But in the same respect, I could see if I had done anything, I would have suffered the same. And I couldn't do that at that time. I, like I say, I, I feel bad that I didn't. I, I, I can't turn back time, uh, but it, it definitely hit me hard. Um, I was working as an electrician because it was the jo it was the a job I was offered and I needed work. So I didn't know that it was going to become my lifetime career, and it did. I. I've been an electrician ever since. I I run big jobs, and through the years, I've seen it change on the construction end of things. I've seen it change. People say things haven't changed. Things have changed because I can see how it was, and I see how it is now. Um, I have ran crews of a hundred men, and. I don't come out and say, hey, I'm gay, but as I've worked with a company, they, the, the guys watch who, who you go, what you're doing, who you're going out with, if you're with a girl, if you're not, it's casual talk, it's life, you know, you're seeing these guys every day. So, they, 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 they've started to figure, put things together and figure things out, and, um, all it needs, all it has, takes is one guy to find out you're gay. And within within a week, everybody on the job site's going to know you're gay. Even though he's going to say, I won't tell nobody. Yeah, right. He won't tell nobody. It, it's, it doesn't go that way at all. They, they all, they, they're like a nothing against the girls but they're like a bunch of gossiping hands because they're all telling everybody what's going on and boom yeah, okay you're out in a matter of a week I'm out to 90 to 100 men um, and that's when you find it strange because here comes it, all of a sudden you have, have these straight guys hitting on you or just wanting that one night fling because they want to see what it, what the experience of it all is. It's funny. Uh, but getting back to the basics of coming out, what I've learned in my life is that I'm always coming out. It's not something that was a one-time deal and whew, oh, thank God it's over. 
No, it ain't over. Because every time I change jobs, I gotta come out again. I don't have to rush out and tell everybody, but down the line, somewhere along the way, it's gonna come out. And I'm going to deal have to deal with it. Um, I'll talk more about construction and how it is to be gay on construction another time. Um, I have good friends. I, I don't have a lot of friends, but the friends I have are good friends. And um, only a couple of them are gay. The rest of them have been straight, and they're, they're, they're real. We gal on great. We go out, we shoot pool, we have fun. That's me. Go out, shoot pool, and have fun. Uh, and there's a couple of them will help but try and help me out and uh, you know oh there's a guy he looks cute you know why don't you get him I bet he's gay they, they, they're funny they really are funny um, you know with my with my friends they know now and I don't worry about that but every job I go to it's a whole new process of me coming out again so, I will end this video, and uh, I hope I help somebody out there, or somebody can relate to it, great. Uh, you want to leave a comment down below, be more than happy to sit, read your comments, and uh, if you want to hear more, I don't know, you know, I don't know what I'm doing with this channel exactly, but... Uh, subscribe, you know, uh, worst case scenario, you don't watch my video, but like y'all to come back and watch the video. Again, thanks a lot.